All right, so I got this leather jacket from Nasty Gal, and we are going to pimp it up. We're going to be adding patches all over it for New York Fashion Week. How? I don't even know. Well, let's do this. Okay, so clearly I don't have a lot of time before Fashion Week to get this shirt ready. So I'm in the car, the shirt, the jacket, with all the patches in this little pouch. And we're going to be working with this. But I have some cute patches. Let me show you. Look, we have some cute patches. I uh, thrifted a couple. And then the rest, I actually got it from Amazon. Let's work on that. Okay, so I bought this. Billy, shut up. I bought these little things in which I know they're for like heat transfer, but I don't know if it's going to transfer well on this faux leather. I'm just going to go ahead and grind my it. I know it's going to take forever. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to have this ready. Okay, so we have improved. Literally, I spent the whole day yesterday sewing all of these in. So we have, you know, just the happy face, which is the first one, the little skull, the second one, and I went with these and also added height maintenance to the back. So I went back to see the Golden Goose picture of the jacket, the inspo that I had, and it has, like, the whole thing is filled with patches. So now I gotta see if I buy more patches and how do I find them? Literally, I have three days for Fashion Week and I need this done before Tuesday. I need a matching skirt. So now I'm at Savers. I'm gonna check out Savers and also Goodwill. And I'm not gonna be sewing these in. So I am straight up getting glue. We're gonna glue them in. If I start sewing them in, we're gonna finish next year. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so we didn't find what we needed in Savers. So we're gonna try Goodwill and then we're gonna go to Joanne to get the glue. But funniest thing, I did find some stuff in savers like a watch and something. Cause now I was thinking, I'm like, what if I also DIY my denim pieces with a whole bunch of pins? But pins are expensive, so by the time I actually get to do, I might just spend like half my income. Kimberly, why do I always do this to me? I always wait till the last minute to go ahead and start DIYing my freaking New York Fashion Week things. Like literally, I gotta learn. But anyways, let's see. Hoping we find in Goodwill's the uh, skirt. Now we're gonna go to Plato's, another thrift store. But this one is like more high end. I feel like there maybe I might have a chance of finding it. A higher price, but I'm okay. At this moment, I will go full price for any skirt that looks similar to the jacket so we can have a matching set. Okay, so I did not find a matching skirt. So we're just gonna, I don't know, improvise. On the meantime, let's add all these patches to this with the glue. I'm pretty sure that with the glue, I could do it in a couple of minutes and I don't have to be sewing everything in. I'm excited. So I got the Issa Tender glue on a Joann's and I'm just first gonna set how I want this to be filled. The fact that I forgot that the Golden Goose jacket was like packed with patches, I'm, I'm dying because I don't feel like I'm gonna have enough patches. I'm also trying to like find a skirt to also add patches to it. It's either I fill this up with all the patches and forget about the skirt or I don't know, let's figure that out. Okay, so this is what we're working with. And um, let's get to it. Okay, this is the so far. I'm thinking of adding those to the back. Let's just glue these on. And FYI, I'm not, I don't have enough patches. I really don't. Okay, so this is how the jacket came out and I'm loving it. However, I wish I had more, which I'm still gonna go and find more patches because I literally want it to be filled, you know, completely filled. But on the meantime, I love how it looks. This is... Let me show you the back of it. This is the back, and it still looks cute. And it's literally right behind what started all of this, which is the blazer I DIY last year for Fashion Week, and it was a hit. And now I want to make sure that all of my Fashion Weeks I DIY something. Look at that. So um, since I didn't find the leather skirt, I was just planning on putting it with this skirt. I thrifted this little plaid skirt um today, and I feel like it will look cute. I just have to like find a way to make it look popping. However, we have a little dilemma because I was not aware that this whole entire week of Fashion Week, the weather is going to be like 90 degrees. What is this? I, w I, I did not know and I was not prepared. So I'm not even sure if this is going to be something that we're going to be wearing for Fashion Week. I really hope so. And if I do, I'll be showing the whole entire fit on Instagram. Go check it out. Instagram and TikTok. I'm going to be showing all of my fashion fits from Fashion Week up there. And that is it. It was super fun. I'm going to be linking where I got most of these patches. I know I got... This one in particular, I got it at Joann's along with like the stars. And I got a couple of like two or three from Walmart and the rest are from Amazon. And some of them are thrifted like that one, the height maintenance in the back and all piece. Some of those are thrifted. So the rest, I'm going to be tagging them also with the blazer. That's going to be down below. And we're going to be 
making way more YouTube content, sharing a little bit more of my uh, DIY projects, which I love to make. And that's it. I'm also going to be DIYing another project for New York Fashion Week as well. This one is more for the weather. And so I'm going to be sharing that in another video. Until next time.